Hi, this is Mike Green, and this is a short video to show the new features in the version 1.4 update for Fingerpick. There are three main things that this update does. First, you can now stop notes from ringing out. We got a lot of requests for that one. Second, you can now decide for yourself what areas of the keyboard should control which things. And third, we had a bug in the capo settings where if you change the fret position while a chord was playing, it would change keys instead of playing a different inversion. And fourth, we changed the word expression to intensity. And I can't remember why I thought intensity was better than expression, but there you go. It does the same thing, it's just a different label. By the way, don't forget that you can assign any of our knobs or sliders to controllers on your MIDI keyboard. Just right click on the interface, then jiggle a knob or slider on your keyboard. I'm jiggling right now. Then click here where it says learn MIDI CC number automation. Presto. I can now move this slider from my keyboard. Also, if you want to go back to the default settings, just command click. Okay, so one other thing I should mention, you may notice that there are some blank spaces where it looks like there are supposed to be controls. That's because this update was supposed to have a bunch of other new features as well as more patterns, but it was taking too long. So rather than wait until everything was finished, I'm releasing this right now. Okay, so let's look at the first item, which is this stop ring out button. Check it out. Ha! We got a ton of requests for that. And here I was thinking long sustains were a good thing. Now, if you go to the settings page, you'll see here where it says force fade, which is the same as stop ring out. Maybe I should have made them both the same name. That'll be version 1.5. But anyway, you'll see that this slider lets you decide how quickly the notes fade out when you press the button. Pretty simple. But we're not done yet. If you're like me, you don't want to have to move your mouse onto the interface. Personally, I like doing everything from my keyboard. So here's another way to stop the ring out. Watch closely and see if you can tell what I did. Did you get it? I played three notes in the green keys, which were all right next to each other. For some reason, I always like to do F, F sharp, and G, but you could do any three or four or five if you like, as long as there are three notes chromatically next to each other being played. Cool, right? Now for me, that's my favorite way to stop the ring out, but we've still got one more way. We've also added stop as an option in the pattern select key switches. All right, so we can cross that one off the list of requests. Now, here's the second most requested thing. A lot of people have been asking if we could give an option to have the green keys on the left side instead of the right. Well, check this out. From the settings page, click this keyboard layout button. And now you can move the ranges wherever you want. Let's put the green keys on the left. You just drag them where you want or take them off the screen. Notice that with the fret and legato section, you have a choice for whether these control both the fret and the legato key switch, or whether it's just the fret or capo, or whether it's just the legato key switch. You can also select here what size your keyboard is so that you can get a better idea of the range. So there you go. The third major item this update was really just a bug fix, but it was a tough one. In fact, this whole update was way harder than I expected, which is why we decided to release this part as is before moving on to the other parts, which are tricky too. The rest of this should be done in February of 2019. Ha! Little joke there. <laughs> anyway, that's the scoop. This is all explained in the new manual, of course, but I wanted to show the first two features in a video because it's easier to understand them by seeing them in action. If you're an existing Fingerpick customer, this update is free, of course. Just download the zip file, which was the second link from your original purchase email. We've updated our server so that the zip file is now the 1.4 version. Download, unzip, then replace the instruments folder, resource container files, and the documentation folder, and you'll be all set. So I hope you like the update, and we'll see you soon.